Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind right back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been... um watching my videos for a while and you feel like you know one of my videos or even a few of my videos just give you an uplift and you would love to share it with somebody else to do the same or even go any further please go ahead and do this it. greatly appreciate it and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas you have uh you have flipped the script you have the power to also rewrite it you surely do you surely do um you know we're all going through uh, that vibration, that path of change, of transforming, of forming, um, going on a, a new level, uh, being able to create more with even less, you know, um, being able to see how far your determination is, your, your, uh, your motivation, you being persistent, consistent, um, being able to allow yourself to take constructive constructive criticism um, when it's needed or even when you when you're developing within yourself and having self-awareness even having self-assess you know you're going through those different times where universe is allowing you hey pull back you know this is that time to focus on you you know really being able to see that hidden voice you know within you that is really wanting to get acknowledged to you you know um, being able to see things as an experience of growth being able to um, allow yourself to say you know what instead of seeing anything as a negative or positive you know universe wants us to be able to see it through the universe vibrations through source vibrations through the creator you know um through our our you know our highest power you know they want us to be able to see that you know um into a a uh, balanced vibration you know basically you know um for the last few weeks I've been really allowing myself to self-assess, you know, really being able to see things in different ways, you know, being able to see, you know, not being able to see high, low, good, bad, negative, uh, you know, uh, rejoiceful, whatever. Just being able to say it, it was a part of my life that just being able to help me grow. You know, being able to understand everything that has happened to my life, allowing myself to not be triggered of things from the past, but being able to say it brought me to myself that I didn't know I needed to know. You know, anything that you experience in your life is giving you uh, that problem, not not problem, but that process to be able to say, I need you to, you know, you're, you're showing up for yourself, basically. You're showing up for yourself until you get really acquainted with the best version of yourself. You're doing that from the things that you used to do. You're doing that through the people that you used to hang with, the things you used to see, the things you used to say, your interests, you know, how you speak of yourself, how you speak of others, how do you see different things in your life. Are you being judgmental? Are you being uh, uh, critical? Or when you're allowing yourself to say, you know what? You know, every, everybody has their room to grow. You know, you can't force anybody to heal. You can't force anybody to do anything. You only have control of yourself. You know, um, worrying, uh, not even worrying about anything, but just being able to say, have that confidence in yourself of what you can do. Being that, that source within yourself and not saying, you know, there may be things that I fear, but allow myself to not be fearful to where I won't connect with that situation because I may not understand it or I may fail at that. You know, if it, when they say failing is, is that road to success. If you never fail, you, you won't appreciate anything. You won't to be able to say, you know, I'm glad I didn't get that yes when I kept seeing everything as a no. You know, and it's just like if, if God or universe put this vision inside of you and say, I want you to be able to create this. And you're like, how, how, <laughs> you know, it's like, especially if you are this person who wants to be an entrepreneur about that and really don't have the sources, don't have the financial funding for all this. God is like, you know, I didn't ask you to do that. I, I put this in your, your hindsight and I want you to be able to create it. You know, I already know how you're going to do it. I need you to know that. You know, and there are so many different things that I've looked in my life, especially the last few years. You know, last few years have been really hard for a lot of people. 
you know some more harder than others you know you're still probably going through some things and you're still trying to find your way and that's all right you know it is all right these are the things that you're doing that you have to be at that vibe that you know it's just like you know it's been a journey you know and it's all about how you you uh place the words on it. you got to be very selective they always saying be very mindful be very discerning on how you say things especially when it's speaking of yourself you know, not saying it in a negative vibration and saying, you know, I've got a chance to really see myself on a different level. Of saying, no, nah, I don't really like what I went through because of this. And you already putting a vibe that's attaching a negative experience, you know, experience, and you're flowing with that in a negative vibe. And just said, instead of saying, you know what, the last few years don't really showed me things about my life I didn't even know I needed to know. You know, and just say it in a neutral balance. When you're not allowing yourself, you know, if you can say it more positive than anything, not saying it is neutral, it's like it's not neither bad nor it's good, but it's it's like this is a part of your growth. You know, not attaching, you know, any kind of vibration towards that that is going to be steering towards the negative. That's what I'm trying to say. And you're just being able to look at your life and say, you know what, I'm the author to my story. You know, I'm the creator to my path. You know, um, I have the blueprint. This is what universe and God is, you know, printed out for me. Now it's my choice of how I want to build it. You know, everything is like every every moment, every day is ripping off a new veil of your life, of how you want to see it, how you want to go about it. You know, uh, what do you allow yourself to attach to? What are you having the power to de-attach yourself from? What are you allowing yourself to be brave enough to say, Oh, I can't live without this. And it's just like if universe is guiding me to live without that, I have to be brave enough to do that. And it's just like it's showing you to recognize your own power. Not being concerned about other people's opinions of your life. You know, um, and, it, and it's really teaching you so much about yourself that you may not have even known that you would experience. But it was just all about how you choose to look at it. If you choose to see everything in a negative situation and neg a negative circumstance, it's going to create negativity. But if you're seeing it through growth, like, dang, you know, you know, th th especially if I look at a lot of different, you know, for examples, per se, of different motivational speakers that have really went through some down and outs, you know, they were on substance, you know, or they could have been um, a, a person of the night that, you know, had relations and that's how they, they made their money. And then it took them to a place where they were ambassadors to show people how I rehabilitated myself, not feel shame of where my life was, but just being able to say I'm proud of what my life was, how I experienced it, how I changed it for a, a better opportunity for myself. And that's all what we're doing. You know, universe always tell you never be shameful of where your life has uh, been, you know, not worrying about what other people thought of you. You know, there's there's people out here that don't. You know, they don't have their life straight. There is nobody in this world that have not made uh, mistakes, not have done things that they're not proud of, they're shameful of. So it, it's just like when you're allowing yourself to, you know, there are certain things that don't need to be speaked on. You know, there are certain things you can keep to yourself. But if you know if this is something like if your your path is like mine, there's things that went on to my life that, you know, I'm not proud of. There's things that I've experienced in my life that really don't need to be talked about. There's really not being, you know, I've said it, okay, it's there, keep it moving. And I can allow myself to look back and just say, you know, this has really healed me, you know, and I'm still on that healing vibe, you know, being able to be honest with myself, you know, um, and being able to see, you know, there are certain things on your purpose where if you know universe is going to guide you to speak that story about what you have gone through to a certain extent you know to a certain extent and to be able to project that towards other people to look at their life and show what i thought was impossible i made possible through the change you know how i move forward allow fear to not affect my judgment on how i choose to do for today you know they always want us to stay in the now and a lot of times it's hard for us to let go. A lot of times it's hard for us to, you know, look at the past and stay in that past instead of uh, uh, instead of not allowing ourselves to say, I can't change the past, but that past has changed me. 
you know, it's either changed you for the better or changed you for the worse. It's just up to what choices you make, and that's all what it is. The flip, the script has flipped, and it's showing you, you have the power to rewrite that. You have the power to rewrite it, not to be able to say, I want to erase everything, because when you erase everything into your life, it erases the, the, the information that you needed to get by. You know, to strengthen you, to be able to see that power within you. These are the things that you had to go through, even if it hurt deep. It hurt deep. That doesn't mean whatever negative circumstances, whatever trauma you went through, whatever somebody has done, whatever you have done, that does not define who you are today. That can define how you want to overcome what has happened for yesterday to be able to focus on today to create for tomorrow. You know, it's like we can't fear. And worry about the future because the future ain't here you know neither one of us existent without us being here now and I had to be able to learn that and it was very hard because I, I, I you know I've gone through a lot of you know recycling you know uh, reoccurring and that that mess gets tiring it's just up to you when you choose to get tired of that if you know there's something else you want to do in your life you have to be able to make the choices to not even, you have to make the choices to do things, even the ones that you don't want to do. You have to be uncomfortable. When you get uncomfortable, that means you're allowing change to take place into your life. You know? And you're seeing it. Even if other people don't want to do that, that's not your choice to make for them. You know? Because there's times in our lives, you know, there's times in our lives that we, we didn't want to hear that change need to take place. It's like, why do you keep talking like that? Why do you keep seeing it like that? Because I used to get that a lot. And then it was just like, you know what? About my time, I needed to be able to see it within myself. You know, people can tell you so much until you end up choosing to make that decision for yourself. Some people don't. Some people do. But it's up to you to choose what you want to do within your life. You have that 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 power that light within yourself to be able to say if i want to create my life to better i need to start doing better i need to start acting better if i want my life to be blessed i have to start thinking i'm blessed i need to start talking like i'm blessed i need to start uh envisioning things in a, in a blessed vibration you know write down my goals you know be able to have my own vision board of what i want to create within my life and follow to that to the t you know you can't promise yourself something and then when it comes to that i, I was queen of doing stuff like that procrastinate made all kind of excuses i'm tired this and this and that when you know there are certain things in your life that it just truly just shakes you to the core that's when you're going to know a lot of times you, we have to understand when we know we want more in our lives and when things start popping off and getting heavy and getting re rocky, very rocky, God is doing that because the fact is he won't turn the heat up. If you didn't, he, he know you would never move. If things were getting so easy to where everything is coming to you and you never really worked for you, you really wouldn't appreciate it. You know, so you had to be able to go through that because it's like everything you are going through, everything you are facing, and it could be something that is very tragic into your life is opening a new door for yourself that you need to know you need to heal you need to be able to understand and certain things we go through in our lives I can understand it's hard for you to get that clarity you know because there's a lot of things that you know y'all have connected with me with and it broke my heart and I there's sometimes I don't have the answer but I can just have that key of experience what universe has guided me through or there's certain things that I may have experienced to be able to help you. And it's like, hey, I've been through some dark mess before. I've been to where I was lost. I was confused. I didn't know where to go. I had nobody I can turn to. But I had to be able to have that faith to go to God. You know, be able to trust myself. Being able to listen to my guides. Turn that noise off to the voices that are naysayers. You know, your ego is there. Your fear is there. Your pain is there. You have to be able to shut that out. You know, and it's just like, this is my time to shine. And I can't allow, you know, of things that are out of my control to control me. You know, there's enough doubt there that's going, you know, that's doing that. And, you know, and when you're getting close to that aha epiphany moment to where it's showing you the true thing, that's when stuff starts getting real hectic. And that's where it's challenged you to challenge yourself again. And you have to keep going. You have to keep going. That's why it's so much stuff that we're going under spiritual warfare for. Because they don't want us to see our power. They don't want us to see our truth within ourselves. You know, they will bring different things in our lives. They will keep that distraction up. But that distraction is where it's going to help you to see the truth within yourself. You know, and the truth about everything around you.
you know and it's just like how are, how am I going to choose to move about that and that's when it shows you you flip that script now it's your turn to keep on writing you can rewrite it or whatever you don't want to rewrite your past that's what I'm saying you know you can rewrite how you want to be able to do today you know and say you know what I didn't like what I did yesterday let me go ahead and rewrite something that's going to get me on a better course because universe is always teaching you there's more options out there if you're willing to allow yourself to search for it when you're doing that when you're allowing yourself to say universe I'm open to want to learn these new things can you help me find it and when they do oh that's all they want to know because they already helping you but when they see that you're really doing that they're going to give that pros that's where your abundance and your prosperity is coming from and it's not always something that's material but it's about the spiritual the knowledge you know the substance the food for thought and that's what they want you to be able to thrive on and when you're using that and that's what means important to you to be able to grow that opens doors for other opportunities to be able to connect with that so be able to allow yourself you know you're the co-creator of your own creation you are inspiring others to be that inspiration you're that inspiration of yourself to inspire more to become more so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all um, thank you you know for still you know watching the videos that's why I so I love how I have so many videos out there so even when I want to take that pause for that cause and just be able to step back and do me there's nothing bad that was going on with me but it's just sometimes I need to just step back and just be able to focus on me for a minute but um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Omega McBride as well as Timberwolf and Christina Flaherty much love to you as well if you're new to the channel so thank you please drop a line I would love the chance to be able to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and I always leave my um my 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 connection what do I say my contact information god dog I, I ain't did this for the last few weeks so I messed up my stuff you know my contact information as well as my link to my Spotify uh, podcast that I do as well um, on there so if you can't see the audio you know you can't hear the audio the video is always here and if you feel generous enough there's always my cash app uh, stuff there too if you ever feel like you're you know thankful to give a donation is greatly appreciated um, so it's just like networking spiritual networking just be able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose uh if you need any kind of insight that you're trying to understand you know i try my best to be able to help you and whatever you're going through is confidential you know it, you know i'll be able to help out the best way i can and i never want anybody to feel shameful about what they're coming to tell me about what they're experiencing you know because there there's a lot of things that we go through and we do really just don't understand we all are helping each other we're all students and teachers towards that so whatever your manies are that you're you're really trying to uh transpire into your life into the physical you know i want that to be so big and you know ex you know ex just out there that you never expected so I'm putting that vibe on you whatever you've been working on is going to be so much better than you ever expected and sooner than you ever predicted it and even through social distancing make sure you give out uh, love light through vibes words frequencies you never know those things can really take somebody a long way and it can take you even further just for you stepping out and doing that and you know be safe and keep going much love to you peace namaste